Hey yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. I hope you're doing fantastic, guys. If you're brand new, be sure you subscribe and let's jump right. So we're in Tokyo, Japan, and for the next 100 hours, we're gonna be forced to stay in some of the most unique capsule hotels Japan has to offer. Let's do it. From robots that check you in to capsules that watch your sleep patterns, there's even a sleeping pod that's hidden in a library. Okay, so what is a capsule hotel room? Basically, it's a really tiny hotel room that consists of just a bed and other weird things that you wouldn't find in a normal hotel room. And we're supposed to spend wow. 100 hours in it. Yeah. Dude, what? most of them are a lot cheaper than normal hotel rooms. Starting at Dude, that sounds cool. That sounds like a cool idea. It's just $9. Do I have to go with you? Yes, Drew. Why? I don't want to do it. And if you guys survive the full 100 hours in the capsule hotels, I will surprise you with the coolest hotel in Japan. See? Okay. There's a reason to do this. It was hour one. So, Pearson and I hey, drive. I don't mind spending some hours in the hotel with some baddies. You know what I'm saying? I drew out of the normal <laughs> hotel, and it was time for us to check into our first capsule hotel. Oh my. What? Oh my what? god. What? I'm honestly actually kind of. Dude, that looks like one of those. Uh, um, you know in the movies when they go to space and then like they put the, they put their bodies there for like 80 years and they sleep in one of those it looks like one of those things kind of excited <gasps> holy crap this looks like something but, like those freezes and stuff let's see what he says out of like a spaceship oh, this is <laughs> that's what I just said did you hear what that's right, what I just right. said here is everyone we actually got here before check-in so no one has checked in yet only us that so we're this. not gonna be alone no eventually people are gonna come in here right, and fill up sure all these pods fun. and we're gonna have some new roommates Drew <laughs> you ready to see our pod our pod we don't get our own pods? They were sold out. They only had one. Bro, we have to share? This is great. This wow. Is nice. This is roomy. So this is where we're, have a we're spending man. our first <laughs> night. It literally smells like dirty socks, Drew. Bro, th those are yours. I have something to tell you. We actually have our own pods. Dang it. <laughs> what? I wanted to cuddle. Oh, gosh. Oh, Pearson, you can always stay with no. me. No. <laughs> I know this guy, bro. You want to get it? Hey, don't give me those eyes. Really? So when we checked in, they gave us a bag full oh, of yes, it's there with amenities. It. So let's see what's inside. Slippers. Slippers. Towel. Ooh. We have some uh, PJs. Mm. Toothbrush. After exploring more, I won't be needing those. Each capsule comes with a reading light, a USB, a concave shelf for your phone, maybe, and that's basically it. This is the bathroom. Holy this looks like, a, like this is huge. This is absolutely insane. Oh, dude, I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> you're just gonna oh, take a shower right now. <laughs> Oh, 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 <laughs> Where is that sushi? I thought that was sushi. Why are you eating it? Oh, how's your capsule? It's good. What is this? Oh, that's why this is called the sleep lab. It analyzes your sleep and it's a thermographic camera. So it basically senses like how loud you snore, you toss and turn at night. Yeah, it's always watching. It can see me. Yeah. Like, do I sleep naked? <laughs> Wait, what am I gonna do? It's gonna see everything. So before we get some sleep, we met up with the gang and decided to get dinner at a robot cafe where the robots literally serve you food and entertain you while you eat. Yo, yo, yo! What's going wow. on? Yeah. What? How's the time capsule? It's, it's good so far. It could be worse. Basically, I made reservations at this robot cafe. You get served by robots and they also like entertain you, I guess. So. I think you just did that so that you could leave your capsule. Well, maybe. <laughs> My name is Pepper. It's nice to meet you. Pepper. Dude, this is not real. This robot is gonna be our waiter at this restaurant. What? Literally, how? <laughs> Brent over here has a peanut allergy. Is that something that is cause for concern? Peanut allergy is a serious concern oh. and should be taken into consideration. You're in safe hands, Brent. This robot talks better than all of us. <laughs> so basically, while we wait for our food, the wow. waiter can do a bunch. Damn, man. What's, why didn't you want to have a person? Bunch of things. You can have her dance, play video games. I want to see her dance. dance All right, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> wow, imagine if you could do that with a real way to make them dance. Food's coming right oh. now. Look. That's not our food. Shut up. Oh my God. Just grab it. Yeah, we just oh. grab it. There we go. Yeah. This is so futuristic. Bye. It was the leap. That's insane. <laughs> Dude, I swear I've seen a video like that in Japan somewhere. Like a couple on Reddit, man. On Mackey's. I think it was KFC. No. Yeah, they I think it was a McDonald's one. share the capsule? That's so crazy. small. That's There's no know. airflow in here. <laughs> I'll stay with you, Brent. Drew, I don't want you to stay with me. Dude, you just said that. No, I said I want Pearson to stay with me. <laughs> so Pearson left Drew and I to sleep for the night, and I slept fairly well, but I don't think Drew could say the same. Drew, I didn't sleep at all. You were watching me the whole time. No. No, 
I swear. Like the thing, like there was like a red little blink in my eye. <laughs> we were 20 hours into the challenge, and once we hit a full 100 hours in all capsule hotels, my friends have surprised me with one of the craziest, most insane hotel rooms in Tokyo. But for now, it was time to pack our stuff and head to the next. Oh wow, hey, that would, that would be nice, man. You know what I'm saying? Like spending 100 hours in that one, and then after that, you're going to a nice hotel. It's capsule. Nice Along the way, we made a pit stop at a Japanese convenience store, and this store has literally everything. This is like an ice cream cone ready to go. Just to go. They're known for their extremely good food and snacks. So believe it or not, they sell gyo says at the 7-Eleven, pork fried rice, but there's also shrimp in here too. And this is really good actually. Full blown sushi from 7-Eleven, so let's hope I don't get I'm a little sick. scared. <laughs> With some soy sauce? Like, this would be far. Japanese candy. These Yo. ones I'm excited for. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. I've, I've been eating a lot of sweet soy sauce lately. Mm -hmm. I like That's that insane. These are sandwiches. Dessert sandwiches? I have a strawberry sandwich. You have a peach, mango, mandarin sandwich. Just go. But I don't love it. It was time to check into our next capsule. This one is literally disguised as a library. Alright, so we just arrived at our next capsule hotel. Why are we at the library? So this isn't the library. This is where we'll be sleeping tonight. But you can also read books here and drink coffee. It's basically like a cafe and a capsule hotel in one. That's be like the weirdest thing I've ever been to. I know, isn't it really weird? So where are we gonna be sleeping? So the beds are hidden with Why is he whispering? In the bookshelves. <sighs> you wanna come see? Yeah, all right, let's go. This place was so cool. The beds were literally in the bookshelves and there was even a disco ball in the corner of the room where Drew and I had a little dance party. All right, so you probably can't see me right now, but I'm currently in the bookshelf. This is our bed for tonight. I don't get my own room. I forgot to tell you, Drew, uh, we're sharing this room. It's only this room for one person. Oh, come on, it's pretty roomy in here. Let me show you inside. All right, so we are inside the bookshelf. And this is our room for today. Dude, this looks more like a human-sized coffin. I feel like it's kind of cozy, though. It, it is cozy. Yeah, let's give you guys a little room tour. Let's do it. Okay, so it comes with a pillow and a sheet. You also get a couple hangers, I guess, to like hang clothes up. You could like mess with the lighting, so you can turn it down. With the room, you also get a safe. You have an expensive block. That's pretty cool, man. I like that feature how you can turn the light down because you need that sometimes. You know? mm -hmm. so I guess you'll be good. This one, I can't even turn it up or down, man. And then sometimes you just want it a little bit when I go to bed, you know? Now that we fully checked in, I say we go outside. I should also have a timer. A light with a timer where like the light can turn on. Bro, that would be a crazy invention, guys. Think about that. You know how you just flick the lights and imagine if you would leave a timer on. So that you don't have to get up and turn it off. Man, I don't know. That'll be good. I didn't get some fresh air. Dude, yeah, we've been stuck in a box for 30 hours. I think that's the best. <laughs> if you guys are still watching, make sure you subscribe. And if you're enjoying, please make sure you subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. I love you guys. <laughs> so we decided to explore a little more of the city before going to bed. Basically, at this restaurant, you fish for your food. There's a big, huge pond full of fish. And what you catch is what you eat. Do we have to eat it? <laughs> yeah. Do we have to catch it? <laughs> Can I catch a big bass? <laughs> <laughs> this one's huge. <laughs> Wow, man, that's pretty cool how you can catch your own fish. That's nice. I like it. Dude, this one's making me hungry, man. You know what I'm That thing actually worked, right? That thing never works, man. It's a scam. Maybe they work in Japan. Um. All night, it was time to get some rest because in the morning, we were headed to one of the most technologically advanced capsule pods in Tokyo. Can I turn off the light? Right. Oh, yeah, Tokyo is a first world country. Yeah, wow. Oh my God. Before we checked into the first class of capsule hotels, nice. we had a couple hours to spare, so we met up with the game. All right, so we just got to a cafe, but this is no ordinary cafe. This is a pig cafe. There's a bunch of little pigs in here, and you get to play with them. Yeah, that must smell so bad. While you eat and drink coffee. Oh no God, way. There's yeah. just a what? bunch of little Andrews running around. Oh, yeah. oh, oh I might look like one, but you guys smell like one. <laughs> All right, doesn't mean Andrew Tate. You're like the greatest thing we've ever done. <laughs> Gosh, Pearson! Gosh. Dude, are they falling asleep on me right now? I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> are they all on Pearson? I don't know. This was biting my freaking <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but Pearson ate bacon this morning. No, yeah, she did. No, I didn't. She did. No, I didn't. No, oh my god, is that a stoic? Oh my god. Yeah. Pearson, this is literally the cutest thing ever. Dude, what? Is it gonna have bacon on the menu? True. Bro, like maybe like pick a pig and then like. Oh, <laughs> 
I don't know. Oh, what? Oh my god. That's wow. a grilled cheese? How does it taste, Lexi? Oh it tastes like, like a grilled, grilled cheese. Oh my really? god. So this is a rainbow corn dog. Wait, man, this nigga's making me hungry. Yeah, man. Oh my god. <laughs> What? Oh, nah, that's, a, that's too much coloring, bro. What? How? That's not Where'd you man. get that? I don't even know. Someone just handed it to me. <laughs> Let's go. And I, I, you know, I actually hate those things, so I never used to like them. They, you know, they were just like sticky and too much sugar. Here we have a 10 yen coin. And here we have a 10 yen just coin, too. Nice, it's a waffle with mozzarella nice. cheese in it. It's oh. amazing. They were like the definition of catfishing, you know? It just looks nice, but it's actually like, it's actually not that nice. And it, yeah. Oh, that's good. It was really good. After another fun day, it was time to check out our capsule hotel for tonight. And this is one of the best. All right, so we're 65 hours in and we're here at our last capsule hotel. Let's get this over with. Apparently, this is supposed to be one of the nicest, most luxurious capsule pods they have in Tokyo. And also one of the biggest. They're just like unlimited beer or what? <laughs> this is the best capsule yet. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's nice. <laughs> Damn. It's my fourth one. <laughs> wow. Yo. So the niggas can just keep going back and shit. What? Finally, one that could actually fit two people. Oh my god. This one's roomy compared to like the other one. Oh my god. Yeah. Bro, literally, look at this. Like, so cool. By far, Drew, this is the best one yet. After the book in bed, I mean, like, we need something like better, and this is it. This is a bathroom? Wait, what? Oh my god. Okay, so basically, each room comes with a nice little mirror so you can uh, check yourself out. Also, each room comes with a mini tablet where you can control a bunch of things in the room. So if you want your bed to go down, you just press this button. What? So it can go all the way down. You can also revert it to now it's a couch. Check that out. Unlike our other pod, this one comes wow. with a bunch of outlets. Check this out. You have four different outlets and something that's. Why would you need that much? And by the way, they should have put them up here, you know what I'm saying? Because that doesn't look safe. What if it's a roll over and like. Explode. In none of the capsule hotels that we've been in so far. Air conditioning. conditioning. This is necessary. It comes with air conditioning. There's also an alarm system, so when you need to wake up, you can literally have your bed raised. And it, that'll be alarm. It'll like sit you up. It will sit you up. Okay, see, that's it. That's cool. Alright, so this is by far one of the <laughs> coolest things I've found <laughs> this capsule. Yeah. Apparently, there's something that's called a good, robot yeah. butler. So what does it do exactly? Dude, this is crazy. I, I, I ordered it. I don't know. Hello. Uh, uh, robot butler. What? 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 I get for you, Drew. So, wait, Drew, it knows my name? <laughs> How? Let's do gummy bears <laughs> and some cheese balls. It's a popcorn, why not? Some popcorn. popcorn. Coming right up. <gasps> Bro, oh my god, it just walks away. <laughs> See ya. What the hell? Literally has the snacks. What? No way. <laughs> what the hell? Bro, and the these are so good. Yo, this is insane. And the freaking popcorn. Bruh, this is the best capsule hotel yet. All right, so it's getting pretty lit. You guys are going crazy. Man. But this is a cool feature about this capsule that, that we just- cheap, man. Why are you with the guy? just found out about the shade acts as a projector. This is insane. Wait, that's crazy. Oh. They like took the extra step to make this a freaking projector. Dude, this is insane. All right, so guys, this is our final night in the capsule hotels. We're almost there, but um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Yo, shut up. I'm trying to go to bed. Yo, Drew. Stop. So we finally reached the 100 hour march. It meant it was all worth it. We were about to be surprised with one of the coolest yeah, hotel rooms in Tokyo. Yeah, How much did this hotel room cost? God, a lot. Honestly, at this point, I'm just excited for anything. Yeah. Welcome to your lovely new home. Okay. Welcome. What? Oh, wow. Wait, there's a carousel in the middle of the hotel room. <laughs> Look at these like, massive candies on this wall. What the heck? This is in our hotel room? I said, wait till you see the bathtub. Wait, what? What's going on in the bathtub? What? The chocolate. Oh, chocolate bath? Yeah. <laughs> we can shower in freaking chocolate. If this video gets 550,000 likes, then Lexi and Andrew have to stay in all capsule hotels no. for 100 hours. No. What? No, 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 yep. no, no. Yes. No, yes. Why not? <laughs> he wants to. This week's shout out goes to Sarah, and we'll see you guys next week. Adios, amigos. Wow, this guy is nice, man. Okay, guys, I really hope you did enjoy. If you're still watching, be sure you subscribe. I love you. I'll catch you all the next